Hey, have you ever noticed when you're casting MILF's Acid Arrow? Sometimes it'll... Uh, let me stop you right there. I don't cast spells with other wizards' names in them. I'm sorry. What? Yeah, MILF's Acid Arrow, Tasha's Hideous Laughter, Tensor's Floating Disc, all of them. Don't cast them. All right, fine. I'll bite. Why not? Because it's emasculating. Why am I going to spend all those years studying in the arcane arts just to cast spells with somebody else's name in them? Emasculating? What are you, training with barbarians? At least barbarians are just like, I use an axe. They're not like, I use Krogar's magnificently large axe. I'd be willing to bet if you gave a barbarian Krogar's magnificently large axe, he'd be really excited about it. Whatever, dude. Go stick your nose up. Melf's magic. Can you believe how much they're charging for houses nowadays? Oh, I know, it's ridiculous. And it's not just here, it's everywhere. I think what bothers me about it is, like, you've got wizards out there that can just, like, wish fortresses into existence and we have to pay these ridiculous prices for houses. Oh, I know, I think about that stuff all the time. And not just with houses, like with groceries. Why are groceries so expensive if clerics can just wish entire meals for hundreds of people into existence? I know, it's like, how can you be so selfish? Oh, I know. Have you ever thought about becoming a wizard or something? Nah, mm -mm. Too much studying. I don't feel like doing all that. What about you? Have you ever thought about being a cleric? Uh, I can't see myself praying for an hour straight every day. It sounds exhausting. Yeah, but the guys who do, they could be giving back more to society. Bunch of lazy jerks. Hey, uh, Gorlack, I couldn't help but notice that you were late for work again. And uh, when you're separating the wheat from the chaff, you're kind of leaving a lot of chaff with the wheat. Uh, yeah, this job's kind of tough with these big ogre fingers. Well, you know, with that attitude, I could fire you. Uh, you know, I could tear you in half with my bare hands. Right, so did you want the rest of the day off, or... Gorlack would like to be manager. Well, congratulations. <gasps> Gorlack never thought he would get this position. This means so much. To an ogre like me. Oh, Gorlack, I didn't know you had a sensitive side like that. We should go tell the other employees about your new position. Oh, I crushed their bodies into a jelly and ate them on my toast. Uh, of course. Bartender, pour me your stiffest drink. Uh, actually, could you put your bow away, please? Oh no, I keep my weapon out and at the ready at all times. Yeah, I see that. I'm asking you not to. Give me one good reason. Uh, it's rude. It's off-putting, it's super against the law, and I'm not going to serve you until you do it. Wow, okay. You know, just the other day this guy approached me and he was asking me for something. I was glad I had my weapon out then. You know, your story sounds suspiciously like you killed someone for no reason. Are you even listening? I said he approached me. Okay, so you kill everyone who approaches you? Why wouldn't I? Well, you approached me. Should I have killed you? Why didn't you? Because I love you! Oh, Dad! My boy! Hey, what do you think the most thrown object in the world is? I don't know, man. Probably like a dart or a javelin or something? Well, I think it's the Fusk Fish over at Fusk Lake. Oh, you were at the fishing tournament this weekend. How was it? Some guy said I had dry elbows and everybody laughed at me. But that's not the point. I saw so many people throwing back these Fusk Fish, I thought... This has to be the most thrown item in the history of the world. Ah, uh, whatever, just ignore people. But daggers and darts and javelins have been thrown for thousands of years, and people are using them worldwide constantly all over the world. I know, man, but I probably saw, like, 247 fish get thrown back in that lake. Did you count them? It doesn't matter. People throw way more javelins than that. You're just a closed-minded idiot. Whatever, dude. Get some lotion for those elbows. All right, who's out here? Whoa. Bro, what are you even doing? Why are you doing a handstand? I mean, it's impressive, but, like, what are you doing? Ha ha ha! Do you have eyes on the bottom of your feet? Would somebody tell you to watch your step and you took it too seriously? <laughs> watch your step. Ha ha ha. So I guess that's why you do a handstand, because your eyes are on your feet. You have eyelids? Like, does it hurt when you... Step on them? This whole conversation has felt really insensitive, and you're a terrible person. Oh, all of a sudden you talk. Well, you know what? Why don't you come on over here and do something about it? 
Hey, did you know it was a rock that named the catapult? Uh, what? Yeah, the rock named it the catapult instead of the dogapult. Dogapult? What are you talking about? Yeah, the rock said he went with catapult because it launches me out of it. Sir, this is your trial. You're going to be put to death for your various crimes if you're found guilty. Oh yeah, I did all that stuff. You ever think about, like, how much harder it would be to keep this boat from tipping over if we were full-size people instead of halflings? Oh yeah, for sure. It's just one of the many benefits of being a halfling. I think about that stuff all the time. Like not having to crouch when buildings have low ceilings. Yeah, and like never hurting for legroom. Yeah, plus it's way easier to hide. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think about that kind of stuff a lot. Boy, this sea is sure relaxing. You know what I really think about a lot? What's that? How delicious human flesh is. Oh my gosh, I am so glad we joined that cannibal cult. I told you, you went on and on about virtue and innocence. Nah, I gotta hand it to you, you were totally right. And honestly, I think they only let us in because we're halflings and we eat half as much as normal-sized people. Half as much people meat was a good argument you made. Just another benefit of being a halfling. I am crafted perfection. Your pieces will become part of my master's army. What do you got there, bone legs? That's probably why he's got that stupid lean going on. Yeah, we haven't even started fighting. You look like you're about to fall over. I am not about to fall over. What do you got there, tanks hooked up to a tube or something? What are those tanks full of, farts? Mmm, definitely farts. They're not full of farts. Hey, fart breath, one of your hands looks like a boxing glove. Wait, your master couldn't get another hand, so he just slapped a boxing glove on there? Picked it up at the thrift store? What are you, a thrift store golem? I'm a flesh golem, and I have feelings. Did your master pick those feelings up at the thrift store, too? About to be feeling these axes. Oh, snap, tight. Mm-hmm. So, I gotta tell you something. The other day, I saw this toad hopping along the path. Oh, I love toads. They're adorable. Yeah, well, I stomped it to death for no reason. What? You're a psychopath. Yeah, that's actually exactly the problem. I know I should have felt bad, but I don't feel any remorse whatsoever. Well, that's some serious psychopathic behavior. I think you need therapy. Well, therein lies the other problem. I know I need therapy, but I can't afford it. Well, with everybody with half a brain joining the wizard school, there aren't a lot of therapists, so they are in high demand. Right, so I was kind of thinking, and I wanted to know what you thought about this. What if I became a villain? Mmm, that seems dicey. I figure I have no problem killing people. There's got to be some money in that. I'm in. Oh, nice. Let's burn this tavern down. Stop. What's your reason for being here today? Please, my sister... She was a victim of the recent orc attacks. She's in the cathedral. The cathedral is not taking any visitors today unless you have proper identification of relations. I don't have anything. I came as soon as I could to see if she was still alive. Section 328 of the guard code states I cannot let you in without proper identification. How could you be so heartless? I might miss out on my last moments with my sister because of you. <sighs> is your sister about five foot four? Brown hair, was wearing a green dress at the time of the attack. Yes, that's her. You've seen her? Yeah, she's dead. They dragged her out about three hours ago and burned her body. Oh, good. I gotta go return a vial of poison. Have a nice day. And after the military forces have crumbled beneath our feet, we'll burn down the entire village. Ugh, come on, man. Ugh, what is it now, Grona? Why are we always burning everything. It's like the fifth village in a row that you've just burned to the ground. There's other cool things to do. Well, burning things is awesome, and it effectively strikes fear into the hearts of your enemies. Yeah, but like, if it's so effective, then why did we just have to defeat another military force? Well, I like fire. Fine, what do you suggest? Or what if we burn, like, the city hall and the tavern? but we don't burn their world-renowned tap dancing studio. Is this the part where you're going to bring up tap dancing for the hundredth time? No! What are you doing out here? Puny human, what are you doing out here? Uh, oh, hi. Do I know you? A battle of earth-shattering proportions is about to happen here. What are you doing here? 
Oh, sorry, I'm bird watching. I've got my list of birds right here if you'd like to see it. No, this is literally the site of an impending battle. Well, that's not going to work for me. I thought today was going to be the day that I saw a yellow-breasted warbler. Thousands of arrows could pierce your body. So I have to leave, like, now? You think I can have, like, ten more minutes? Oh, sure. Let me just go ask the armies of orcs and the armies of men if they can wait ten minutes for you to find a yellow-chested warbler. Really? Hey, how you doing today, partner? Ah, uh, not so good. I can't find my shield. Your shield? You look to me like a wizard in type. I am a wizard. Well, now, hold on. Wizards can't use shields. You think that I'm smart enough to cast spells, but not smart enough to hold a piece of wood? It ain't personal. I just always heard wizards can't use shields. What is it that you think I would need to do with a shield that I couldn't do? I didn't mean to offend. Is that an Electrum piece? <clears throat> What's the most you've ever lost in a coin toss? Beg pardon? The most you've ever lost in a coin toss. I, I don't know. I couldn't say. Call it. Alright. Eight. You are literally too stupid to intimidate. Well, thank you. Alright. This collection of stalagmites should hide us long enough for us to take a rest. Oh, great. I'm tired. Well, remember, it is your watch shift. Well, that's true, but I don't think we have enough time for you all to rest, and then for you guys to wait for me to get a rest as well. No, you're right, we don't have time for that. You're suggesting that I do my shift as watch, and then just continue on without any rest. Well, I just don't see any other options. And you don't find it a little bit odd that I'm the only one that's had to pull those triple shifts, and no one else has? It's like three times in a row now. That's just how it's worked out. I gotta be honest, I think it's because I sneezed on your bagel that one time. Well, who just doesn't cover a sneeze? It's ridiculous. That was like three months ago. I turned away from the other people I was with. I didn't know you and your bagel were behind me. Good night. <gasps> what is that? I don't even know if that's real. I'm so tired. Hello, human. I'm not here for you. I'm here for a dwarf I've been tracking. Well, the only dwarf here is my boss, and I'm tempted to say you can have him. Yes, I will have his blood and drown him in my viscous fluids. Oh, dang. What did he do to you? While carrying a communicable disease, he sneezed directly on me without covering his sneeze. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. He just lectured me on this. He just gave me this big lecture. He's right over here. He's right back here. I'll take you right to him. Good. Good. Uh, hey boss, something came up during my watch. Ah, oh, this better be good. I'm here to drink your blood. Yeah, this guy revealed to me why you might be a little oversensitive about sneezing in people's faces. Little guilty conscience? I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Liar! Listen, all I know is this weird slime worm thing here is gonna drink your blood, and it's because you're an inconsiderate sneezer. On purpose. Okay, but like, I had something in each hand. You could have put the bagels down to spare those around you. What, do you just only eat bagels? I'm not gonna drop a perfectly good bagel on the ground. I hate when bagels get ruined. Well, I know that's true of him. I'm going to drink your blood. Alright, alright, alright. What if I offer you, like... Ten bagels. Again, with the bagels. Are you crazy? Fifteen bagels. Done. What? Hey, man, what are you doing here? You're crouched there like you're hiding or something. <clears throat> yeah, I'm waiting for somebody to come around this corner. Oh, yeah? Who are you waiting for? Don't worry about it. Just go find somebody else to bother. Well, if you're trying to hide, you're not doing a very good job. I saw you right away. Well, I'm not hiding from you. Would you go away? Wait, you're hiding and you're waiting for somebody. Are you an assassin? No. Just leave me alone. At least tell me who you're looking for. I'll help you. Fine. They say he has a metal face, he wears all blue, and he has an emblem of a red snake on his outfit. Oh, that guy? He walked by like 30 seconds ago when you turned around to look at me. It's a good thing you're not an assassin, because that guy never comes out in public. Hey, uh, it's my first time casting Speak With Animals. Can you hear me? Congratulations, my name is Arnak, Protector of the Woods. It is now your sacred duty to spend ten years learning the way of the wolf, 
as you have chosen me as your first animal to speak with using your druidic powers. Ten years? Nobody told me that. Arnak, I'm not sure if I'm ready to spend ten years in the woods right now. Then you would forsake the will of the wolf and bear the curse. The curse? Oh gosh, I don't know if I want to deal with a curse. It's alright, I was just kidding. My real name's Cinnamon. Give me some food or I'll bite you though. We were in this creepy old abandoned house. Okay. And we opened up this closet. Mm-hmm. And the broom came to life and killed all three of my traveling companions. All of them. Killed. By a broom. <laughs> you know, if you didn't want to come help me clean up my new house, that's fine. You could have just told me. You didn't have to make up some big dumb story about a broom killing your traveling companions. It's not made up. But you know what? I'll come help. Where did you say you bought your new house? Uh, some town called Barovia. Apparently they used to call this place the Death House. So that'll be interesting. I feel like not enough people are talking about how cool hoods are. Oh, I know. Whether or not you're wearing a hood makes a big difference in how cool you feel. Yeah, like the other day I was sneaking into a necromancer's lair to steal some documents to save the day. And I didn't really feel like I was into it until I put my hood up and then I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so cool. I know exactly what you mean. The other day I was stealing money from an orphanage and I was like, this is so wrong. Until I put my hood up and then I was like, this is what was missing. I'm sorry, you were robbing an orphanage. Oh, don't worry. It's not the orphanage you were from. I'm not an orphan. I've never even been to an orphanage. Uh, cool brag, you don't even volunteer. You rob orphanages, and now I'm supposed to think you're some fancy volunteer? Yeah, how do you think I know where the money is? Hey guys, I hope you're liking the videos, and if you do, make sure you like them, comment, and subscribe for more content.